Good afternoon everyone. In this quick tutorial, we're going to create an Allen key, also known as a hex wrench, using a simple sweep command in SolidWorks. The sweep tool in SolidWorks projects a sketched 2D profile along a set path to create your solid part. Now let's get started by opening up a new part file in SolidWorks making sure that the units are set to millimeters, grams, seconds. Now let's create our sweep profile sketch. We're going to open up a new sketch on the front plane. So we'll click the front plane from the feature manager tree here and click on sketch. And to create our profile, we're actually going to use the polygon tool and we'll make sure the number of sides is set to 6 and we need to select our center point so we'll select the origin and line it up like so now we'll hit escape to close the polygon tool and our polygon is a little askew so we want to select this top edge and select horizontal for the relation. This will make that top edge parallel to our x-axis. And the last thing we need to do here is add a dimension to fully define the polygon. So we'll select the top edge and the bottom edge and we'll set this to be 3 millimeters. Now our sketch for our profile is fully defined so we will exit our sketch and we're actually going to name this sketch profile and you do this by clicking once on the feature in the feature manager tree so we'll name it profile and just hit enter Okay, now that we have our profile sketch, we need to set up our path sketch. And to do this, we're going to open up a new sketch on the right plane. So again, we'll click the right plane from the feature manager tree and select sketch. And we'll go normal to Okay, now we're going to create a horizontal line from the origin. Like so, and then a vertical line going downward, like so. And we will double click to close the line segment tool. That's a neat little trick in SolidWorks. And the last thing we have to do is add a radius here. So we'll go up to our sketch fillet. And under entries to fillet, we will select the top edge and the vertical edge. And we will set our radius to be 5 millimeters. And hit OK. Now we need to add some dimensions for the length, which would be from the origin to the vertical line here, and then for the height, which would be from this vertical line to this bottom point here. So we'll click on the origin and click on this vertical line to create our length dimension. And we'll set that to be 25.25 millimeters now our height dimension which will be from this horizontal line to this endpoint will be 58 millimeters now our sketch is fully defined so we will exit our sketch and like we did with the profile sketch, we will name this one 
by clicking once and naming it path and hitting enter. So now we have our profile sketch and our path sketch. So now let's go up to sweep boss base and we want to select sketch profile. For our profile we'll simply expand out our feature manager tree and select profile and for the path we will select our path sketch. Alright, and we won't have to modify any of the options here because this is a very simple sweep. And we will hit OK to create our solid body. And the last thing that we need to do is set our material. And the last thing we have to do here is set our material. So to do this, we're going to right click on the material and click on Edit Material. And we're just going to use plain carbon steel for this example. So we'll scroll down to plain carbon steel under the steel subfolder and hit Apply. and we've successfully completed our Allen wrench or Allen key or hex wrench whatever you want to call it. If you enjoyed this tutorial please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to get notifications about future tutorials on the channel. This will be part of a multi-part series. In the next video I want to use this base model to create a basic design table to instantly create an array of different Allen keys for an entire set. So be sure to subscribe so you get notified for that video when it's released. Thank you again and have a great day.